Attack fighter strike incoming. Stand back and enjoy the fireworks. They don't like to get their uniforms dirty, but those fly boys are pretty useful sometimes. Starship Troopers Terran Command is a real-time strategy game set in the universe of the Starship Troopers films. In this video, we will take a look at how to play Peace of Mind, one of the available scenarios in the demo. In this scenario, you start in command of Federation troops in this outpost at the center of the map. Your goal will be to recapture a series of mines vital to the Federation war effort on the planet. But first, you will need to get familiar with the game's fundamental mechanics. We will use them to repel the initial attack by the bugs. As an RTS, Starship Troopers Terran Command shares the basic commands with many other games in the genre. Select units by left-clicking on them. You can select multiple units by holding the left mouse button and dragging a box. You can add units to your existing selection if you hold down the Shift key while left-clicking. You can also select units by clicking on their icons in the bottom bar of your screen or by pressing Tab to cycle through them. When a unit is selected, you can give it orders. Right-click on a position to move it there. Choose the orientation of the selected units at arrival by keeping the right mouse button pressed and dragging in the direction you want them to face. Similarly, right-click on an enemy unit to attack it. There are several mechanics which set Starship Troopers Terran Command apart from other RTS games. You will need to learn them and take them into account in order to win the scenario. Every unit has a basic weapon with a range you can see by selecting the unit. Any obstacle between the unit and its target might break the line of fire, though. This includes your own units. Place a unit of rifle troopers in front of another, and they won't be able to shoot through each other. Just because you can see the enemy doesn't mean that your troops can shoot it. A red icon appears underneath the overhead icon of friendly units that aren't in a position to shoot the enemy from their current position. Terrain elevation plays a key role here. If a unit is on elevated terrain, they will be able to shoot over the heads of units on lower levels, so take that into consideration when deploying your forces. New mobile infantry units are dispatched from the Federation fleet in orbit and arrive via dropship at radio bases. There is a limitless supply of eager citizens-to-be to call on, but you can only deploy up to your supply limit. Gain supply by securing new bases and capturing supply drops. A successful commander is rewarded with war support from the Federation. This bonus resource is used to deploy special units like machine gun turrets and to unlock new unit types by constructing buildings like the command post, which allows the requisition of snipers. All units have special abilities. You can find them after selecting a unit in the bottom right section of your interface. If you want to use an ability, just click on it then select its target if it needs one. Units gain experience as they engage the bug menace. Each level earned will increase their effectiveness, and many are able to select a new special ability once they reach elite status. Qualasha is infested with arachnid nests and hives which will keep spawning enemies. In order to pacify the area, you will need to clear them out. Surface layers and nests can be pacified using the good old strategy of excessive force. Pound them with bullets and grenades until they crumble to dust. 
Bug hives are underground nests that need cunning and bravery to clean out. Engage the defenders of the hive to draw the forces into a fight. Then, once the defenders are depleted, send in a squad of brave mobile infantry soldiers to collapse and seal the tunnel. Peace of Mind is a complex mission, and any successful strategy will require the player to balance both offense and defense. Your goal is to clear and reconquer mines spread across the map without losing your central base. Once you've fended off the initial bug assault and secured the first mine, use the war support awarded to build a tech building on the deployment pads in your base. Engineers can be really useful for defending your perimeter. Make use of their build turret ability so you can free up forces and deploy them elsewhere. But bear in mind that turrets cost war support and can overheat, so you'll need to strike a balance. Focus on clearing one mine after another and concentrate your forces during assaults. Once you've cleared an area around a mine, don't forget to clear the mine itself as well as any bug holes nearby. Take and hold radio bases with attached supply depots in order to increase your supply limit to deploy more units. Complete objectives to earn war support to deploy new tech buildings and more turrets. It is advisable to choose a variety of different unit types so that you'll be ready to face a multitude of different situations. Be aware that your units don't fire when they're on the move, and that bug attacks can stun and slow your soldiers. Use this knowledge to plan engagements and get the most out of your firepower. The Battle of Klendathu. A day that will live in infamy. But from tragedy springs hope, as the Federation rebuilds its fleet bigger and stronger than before. To fuel this war machine, all eyes are now on Kualasha. Once an isolated outpost, this mineral-rich world has become a key part of humanity's battle for survival. But the planet's vital mining industry may now be in danger after reports of bugs on the surface. And so the mobile infantry answers humanity's call. These brave men and women will defend Quilasha from any insect aggression. Listen up, Lieutenant. The advanced team kicked an anthill. Now they got more bugs than they know what to do with. We're here to save their asses. Let's do this by the book. Don't be a hero, and you won't need a body bag. You understand me? Let's go, on the bounce. Chariot bugs. Small, but there's no such thing as a harmless bug. Splat them and keep moving. Advanced team located the bug hole. Hope they say something for us to shoot. Take position on the left flank to get clear lines of fire. We 
Send them out. Let's move forward. Strike incoming. Stand back and enjoy the fireworks. They don't like to get their uniforms dirty, but those fly boys are pretty useful sometimes. Damn, a few bugs got away. Get after them before they reach the settlement. What kind of half-assed containment operation is this? Damn it. Either these civilians ignored the evac order, or someone's getting a weapon back at base for missing these stragglers. Sir, Major Cortez reporting. Orders from command require you to confiscate all civilian weapons. That's a copy. Good to hear your voice. Squad, secure those weapon stashes. Not that these guys will be using them. Sounds like the other company's in trouble. Let's lend him a hand. tower ahead of your position. It should be able to cut through the interference and get you some reinforcements. Copy that. Radio station's just ahead. Move into range and get fleet on the horn. Finally, we can break through this goddamn interference. These apes have taken a licking. Use the radio station to call a fleet and get replacements for our casualties. Sir, 
Command just radioed out an alert. Major bug movement to your east. Okay. Things are about to get interesting. Look sharp, people. Form a perimeter. Here they come. Watch your fields of fire. Outstanding. This area is hotter than we thought. New order, sir. Bug activity is too strong. Command is recalling you to Delta Four Base. Leave the civvies and get yourself home. Hmm. That route won't be pretty. Rough terrain. Lots of hidey holes for bugs. But you gotta punch through.
Welcome to Delta Four. Now haul ass and get behind those walls. Bugs are going for the base. Standard procedure is to keep the gates shut until there are zero hostiles in the area. Oh, hell. Guess you're doing this in the open. At least there'll be a target-rich environment. Battle's over. Open up, you rookies. We're not done yet. Get on those walls and get ready. All right, you apes. Show those bugs what you're made of. Well done, troopers. Any wounded, head to the medic. Everyone else, go find yourself a drink. With the size of the mug problem now clear, immediate action is needed. The mobile infantry moves into gear to protect Qalasha, its mines, and its people.